Today is Sunday, the 22nd of September. It's the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and our Gospel is from Luke chapter 16, verses 1 to 13. This is a professional guy with a good job. He's a steward, a manager, an accountant. But he's been fiddling the books, and his boss has found out. Busted! Of course, that kind of thing never happens today. Does it? He's hauled up before the boss, and he's given his marching orders. Serves him right, we all say, and tuck to ourselves as we hear him fiddling the books again. 50% off the oil, 20% off the wheat, and expecting favors in return. We understand this. It's a classic moral tale about being honest and not cheating. And then Jesus goes and just messes it up by patting the cheat on the back. What? The guy is swindling his master and Jesus approves and tells us to do the same. On first reading, this is certainly a weird parable. It's not simple, easy and pretty. Well, let's be honest. Life isn't really like that, is it? Life is complicated and awkward and full of people who don't fit neatly into boxes. So here we have a guy who doesn't fit neatly into a box. Is he a cheat? His boss certainly thought so. But as the baddie of the story, he ends up being commended. So is Jesus telling us to be cheats? Hmm, no. Let's look a little more closely, or rather, let's look more broadly. It's always a good idea to look at the surrounding bits of Bible, and around this parable, we find lots of other teaching about knowing what's important. Luke didn't just throw this together any old how. He had a reason for including the story just here. Just before this parable, come three famous stories about lost and found. The sheep, the coin, and the sun. And straight after this passage is the story of the rich man and Lazarus. All of these stories, my dear friends, are about lost people and found people. But they are talking to different groups. Those who are lost, but think they're found, and others who know they are lost, but want to be found. Right at the beginning of this section, at the start of chapter 15, we can see these two groups. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering round to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered. This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Jesus started with three parables that made it very clear which group were more likely to bring a smile to God's face, and then told a story about each group. The tax collectors and sinners would have recognized themselves very clearly in our passage. So what was Jesus saying about these people? These complicated, non-box-fitting, real Ordinary people? Perfect people? By no means. Like you and me, you bet. Regarding the manager's swindling, I'm not going to say it was okay. It certainly wasn't. He was dishonest or incompetent and he got the sack for it. End of story. It's the bit afterwards that causes problems. The commentaries vary. But what seems to me the best fit for the point that Jesus was making about lost and found is this. In that culture, the manager could be entitled to commission on the accounts he managed, like a sales rep today might earn commission on a car they sold. Given that, the boss commended the manager's actions. It seems unlikely that the discounts were from the boss's account. I think it more likely 
was the manager's own markup that he was giving away, namely his commission. The same sacrificial giving comes again later in Luke when we meet Zacchaeus, another dishonest man who gives up dishonestly gained money to secure treasure in heaven. This is the point of the story and the whole chapter. To live now, but with an eye to the future. So if we read Jesus' overall message, we can see the story not as applauding shady financial vela dealing, but as commending a guy who realized that the way he's been living was wrong and he changed his value system. It's a picture of life for us. The manager gave up his hefty commission, focusing only on what we can get in the here and now to gain favor later on, namely a warm welcome in heaven. God bless and do have a Jesusful day.